The single shot basket. How do you get the best out of that at home? Hey, stick about and I'll tell you all my secret tips. G'day everyone, welcome back to the Artisti YouTube channel where we guide you through all things coffee. So you don't miss out on any of our latest videos, make sure you do like, subscribe and hit the bell icon and you'll be notified when we put up our latest video. And if you've got a question about any of the content you see, hey, do leave it down below. We love answering those. Um, they're just such a, a great way for us to connect with you and help you out with your coffee. So guys, we are just nailing in today about how you can get the best out of a single group basket. Now I have said before that we don't use them commercially, but there's so many home users out there that do wanna make a great cup of coffee using this. So keeping in mind that we're using a smaller gram weight, something like a seven or nine grams in a single, where we commercially use 22 and a half grams to get a great espresso, I wanna nail down so that you can get the most out of that beautiful bag that you've just bought for 15 odd bucks, that you can enjoy it and make a great cup. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna make our way around to the coffee machine and I'll show you a few things that you're gonna to have to deal with when you use this basket. So when you get your new machine at home, you're gonna usually get two baskets and two handles. You'll get a single spout and a double spout, and you'll probably get a small basket like this one and a double basket. So what I wanna show you guys is how to make a great coffee using these. Now, typically, this is about a seven or a nine gram um, basket. So I find I've gotta put 10 grams of coffee into this to actually get a great extraction. We're gonna treat these exactly the same. Do our same distributing of coffee. Use our OCD. Tamp it the same. Okay, sit that there for a sec. And we're gonna do um, our double shot as well, which is typically double the amount of coffee that we've got in there. So I've had to put 10 grams in that one, so we're gonna put 20 into this one. All right, tad too much there. Now these could be a 14 or an 18 gram as well, um, which is basically double whatever the single size that you have is. Use our OCD and tamp that. So I'm gonna show you two extractions. Pop these both in. and hit go. You can see on the left there that the shot has actually come out a little bit more pale and a bit faster. The right one is thicker, it was a little bit drippy. And as we actually start to do the extraction, these are set up to give us 22 and a half grams of liquid weight. So we're gonna get the exact amount of liquid in there. You can see the one on the right has a good amount of crema. The one on the left it's actually looking quite pale. It's not generating a lot of crema at all. So this is the same grind, just literally doubling the volume in these two handles. So we'll take a close up look at these two extractions for you. You can clearly see that we've got a reasonable extraction happening in the double, but on the single, it's really pale. It's, it's, it just is under extracting that coffee. There is no crema in it. There is just um, not gonna have the full flavor profile that we're looking for in an extraction. I'll have a quick look at the actual two baskets here. You can see we've got um, a nice uh, expanding of the puck here, a little bit of an indentation, and it's a little bit firm. Where even fitting 10 grams into that single, you can see it's actually got some, some holes that are formed around the outside. There's just not enough depth of coffee on that ridge to actually maintain a really good extraction. So that is a little bit soft, a bit sloppy. So it really did affect the amount of um, back pressure that was happening in the handle and brewing of the coffee. So you really can't use such a small basket and have seven or nine grams. You're probably gonna have to pack 10, 11, 12 or more to make sure that's not gonna happen. So what do they taste like? Well. This is an under-extracted under coffee. Okay, you can smell definitely a bit of bitterness in this one. Um, there's a little bit more sweetness, coffee body through this. Yep, that's really underwhelming. 
um, quite bitter, very no, tarty with a bit of um, roasty notes in it, to be honest, it tastes quite ordinary. This one's actually got a lot more sweetness to it, some body and a lot more viscosity in the actual liquid as well. So hopefully that shows you guys what's gonna happen if you use the same grind in a single or a double. So how do we really combat this one? This needs a finer grind and a bigger dose to be able to handle um, a better extraction. So don't think when you get up in the morning and you're gonna have a cup of coffee um, with a single um, and then your wife gets up or your husband gets up and then you, you go for one of these and you split this into a double, that they're gonna taste anywhere near the same. This coffee is gonna taste far better because the water is coming through at 58 mil and less variation down the bottom. And as that splits out, you're gonna get a much fuller, nicer extraction out of the 20 grams, essentially, 10 grams in each cup, hopefully, where this one, even though it is 10 grams of coffee, which would be the same maths, it's gonna extract very differently. A lot of people find that this does fill, um, uh, fill up once you're actually extracting and it will basically drip out the whole time. And that's because that round circle of the uh, about 25 mil filter basket is really a choke point for that coffee. So I've just told you to go finer, but the problem is if you go too fine, it can then choke the coffee. So you have to go coarser. So working out how to deal with the pressure variance from 58 down to the 25 is the trick to this basket. So ideally the best thing you can possibly do is not use this, have a little bit more coffee, get yourself a, a double basket, uh, even a 14 gram, or if you have to pack it a bit lower down to 12 grams, if you want to be really on the economy side of coffee, that is going to give you a much better cup of coffee. If that's all you've got, hey, do your best, and hopefully those two tips uh, around coarser or finer extractions and what's happening inside that basket is gonna help you get a better coffee. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Have an awesome day.